17, getting toward the, the end of these, um, the, the few cognitive distortions and biases that I, I, I picked to throw together here for you to think about. Uh, number 17 is the Dunning-Kruger effect. Uh, this is an effect or a bias you see in um, experts or um, people at the top of their fields. It, it, the more, basically it says the more you know about something, the less confident you will be in making an opinion or a conclusion uh, in, in that particular uh, subject. Um, seems ironic. You would think that someone that knows more about a certain subject would be more confident uh, in that, and, I, and, uh, and it's just, it's not true, uh, because of the Dunning-Kruger effect. And you think about it uh, this way, a, um, uh, a doctor that is, uh, he's been diagnosing illness and studying uh, a particular disease for 50 years is going to know how much that he doesn't know, right? The more you learn, the more you realize, if you're honest and avoid these biases, the more you realize how much you don't know which, um, if you're being rational, will temper your um, snap decisions or conclude, coming to a quick conclusion about that. And the irony is, uh, the, the longer the, this physician, in our example, has practiced and become aware of those uh, issues that the layman or the less experienced physician might not know of, the less confident he would be in a, uh, a diagnosis. I mean, there, there's some balance there. That's all kind of going on behind the scenes. But um, as, a, as a personal example, um, I use the Dunning-Kruger effect now that I'm in my 50s. Uh, I've been doing martial arts um, study uh, near daily and then training for uh, other people for years and years and just studying and reading uh, for 35 years, uh, about the time I filmed this video. Um, and when I was uh, 18 and I, I, I had got, I had my black belt and I was working in the security field, uh, I was a uh, Barney badass because I knew uh, how to fight. Uh, and then after seven years in um, uh, the security field and in um, working with uh, law enforcement, dealing with real world violence, not competition violence, I really, really quickly learned how much I didn't know about fighting. Uh, and then ironically, the, the more uh, skill I gained, the more experience I gained, the less likely I was to want to enter into uh, any kind of uh, violence because uh, Dunning-Kruger effect. Because I started to realize how much I, the more I learned, the more I learned that I, I the more you learn about a subject, the more you realize that you, you hardly know anything. Uh, about that particular subject. And that should, if you're a rational person and you um, you are uh, thinking rationally, you'll start to avoid snap decisions about that. Now, the Dunning-Kruger effect is not necessarily, uh, like all these biases, they're not or like the placebo bias, they're not all necessarily negative. This will help you kind of slow yourself down and take a... Um, um, just take a step back before you make uh, quick judgments. The more you know, the more you realize you, you don't know everything about a subject. And so you'll be less likely to make quick uh, snap decisions that are, are uh, faulty. So um, the Dunning-Kruger effect, be aware of that when others seem to, uh, maybe you go to somebody that's an expert in the field and they seem to hesitate, or maybe they're saying, well, I'm not really sure, I don't know. Um, don't get upset with them and think, well, you know, you're supposed to be the expert, you should know. Uh, maybe they're, they're under the um, the influence of this distortion, the Dunning-Kruger effect, and they're they're hesitant to make a, a decision because they realize there's a lot of stuff they don't know. Um, the the point of this is it, you can't know everything, so at some point you're going to have to default to action and make a decision based on all the available information you have at the time. Uh, you just got to do the best you can with what you have, right? Be be uh, adaptable. So. Dunning-Kruger effect, be aware of that, that as the knowledge of a certain subject goes, uh, ironically, the confidence in your ability to utilize that information can also drop a little bit. So uh, the Dunning-Kruger effect, I guess, would be the opposite of being overconfident uh, the more you learn. So uh, think about this one. This one's kind of tricky, but it, it does come into, uh, into play when you're making a decision. Maybe you know too much uh, to make a good decision. In that case, you don't want to get paralyzed by like a, um, 
uh, paralysis by analysis, you know, uh, you know too much to make a good decision. Sometimes you just got to default and make that decision. So this one's super interesting. Uh, check out some more, uh, read some books about the Dunning-Kruger effect. It's, it's pretty neat, uh, psychologically speaking. All right, let's do, uh, let's do one more.